So, a few things I learned at my first PTQ. First, one instance does not a trend make. And by that I mean, if you lose one game, it's okay. It happens. Just because you lose the one does not mean you lose all the other ones. You stay confident. The second you're not confident, you can make a mistake. Secondly, remain focused. The second your mind starts wandering and you're thinking about the things that you have to do, the things you should be doing instead, etc, 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 you're going to make a mistake. Implicit in that is do not attend a function for which you cannot actually give the time. Because if you do end up doing well, you're going to have to be there for a while. And if you don't end up doing well, you don't necessarily have to quit. I should have stayed, but I had so many things to do. Perhaps this last weekend was not the best weekend for me to try to go to a Pro Tour qualifier. Third, if someone breaks the rules, have a quiet conversation first about what happened, then call a judge over. It's disconcerting to the other person, especially if they're new and the mistake was accidental. All you're doing is throwing them off the rest of their game for potentially the whole day. It's hard to recover from an embarrassment, uh, more so than just, you know, oh, I made a mistake, you know what, I'll concede the game, let's start again. So as you can see right here, blue, red, and white are all a little less than black and green. With white, I had favored hop, I'd hopeful I'd Dolan. Uh, Wingsteed Rider, all cards I really like a lot. And then down in the spells, I had a couple Divine Verdicts. Always gotta love removal. Blue was just very limited. I mean, Vaporkin's okay if you want to be a little aggressive. Thassa's Emissary is awesome, but to have only one, I mean, a couple of splashable cards wasn't worth it to me. Black, however, I had Asphodel Water, which I didn't like that much, but I do had Tormented Hero, Blood Toll Harpy, a Keepsake, Gorgon, which is awesome, um, and then some removal down here, Freakus Cure, Lash the Whip, Zip a Hemlock. Uh, I, I do enjoy all of those. Red, while I thought it had some good creatures, I like the... Death Bellow Raider, and depending on what you do, Two-Headed Service can be ridiculous. Um, I didn't think it really had any sort of coherence. And same here, Boulder Fall, uh, you know, I like the Betrayal, but it's not that great. Green was awesome, though. Had a lot of Bestow Guys. I think four Bestow Guys had a couple of good um, Nessian Coursers, uh, Arbor Colossus, just a lot to work with there. And then... You know, down here, Savage Surge is okay. Fader New Antiquity is nice, obviously, in this particular format. Um, I hear I had a little bit of mana fixing. Not too bad. Temple of Deceit. I just didn't think it was going to help me because there wasn't Splash in a Blue. Whip of Erebos, however, I really did like. Um, and then with the gold cards, I just didn't think that uh, there was much to work with overall. Although maybe you guys will see something that I did not. And then here, this is what I went with. I went with the green. You see, I have a lot of Bestow. I've got my Big Arbor Colossus. I've got the Centaur Battlemaster for the Bestow mechanics. Uh, a lot of removal. Keepsake, Organ, Sip, Hemlock, Lash the Whip. Freaks here. I got Read the Bones in there because I love that card. Um, the Whip of Erebos. Obviously, you have to. Let me know what you think.